fellow YouTube, today in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I am going to upgrade the BIOS on a Lenovo S10e netbook. So the first thing you want to do is power it on and when you're prompted press the appropriate button temp for the BIOS setup. So in this computer is F2, so just press that and now under the settings. So in this menu you want to note down your BIOS version. In this case it is 18.4 C sorry 14 CN 88 WW. And before you go any further, you want to go into configuration or uh, uh, one of these menus. And this we done exit. And under here, choose load setup defaults. So, I'm just going to press enter. Now go load default configuration now. Click yes. You just go exit saving changes. Yep. Laptop restart. And now I'm just going to wait for it to boot up into Windows. So as you can see, I've booted into Windows 7. I've loaded up my operating system. And what you want to do before you uh, find out what, if you don't, sorry, if you don't know what a BIOS version you have, you want to go to Google, type in your laptop, its model number, and the BIOS version number, and then something followed by update. So I, I would type in something like Lenovo S10e uh, 14CN88WW BIOS update, and then download the appropriate software. So I'm just going to install the software now. Just go through the menus. It'll install. Yeah, I want to run it now. Now, what you want to do here is you're upgrading. Um, you want a backup in case something does go wrong, or you want to downgrade due to an error that may occur as a result of upgrading. But generally, everything will work out fine. So you just want to go into advanced settings. Um, sorry. First, you want to find the new file. It'll be bios.wph, which was installed with the uh, installer. So I'll just choose that and go into advanced settings. And this um, computer is very slow, sorry, because it only has one gig of RAM installed. Okay, once it finally loads up, I'll show you. Anyway, so you want backup BIOS and flash with new settings. Uh, just call the backup BIOS dot back, that's all good. Um, it'll warn you here about oh hang on. Anyway, so you want it these are all the default options, these are what you want so far. Flash only if BIOS is different, flash only if it is newer than the system. If you are downgrading you will need to uncheck this one. You will need to uncheck this one if you are downgrading, but I'm not downgrading yet. Uh, you want to do that, don't really need to worry about that. All these default options are fine, so you can just go to close. And it looks good. Uh, it gives you a warning about closing all other applications, so I just shut down your torrent. And it is ready, so I just go to flash BIOS. So as you can see, it has started the process of BIOS Flash. So we've loaded the new one, we've analyzed, and old new compatibility, we've read the old one, saved the old backup, and now we're flashing the new one. Uh, the main reason I'm upgrading is because in this particular S10 model, uh, sorry, the S10 models, um, there's a known problem on the older BIOS. If you install another memory, uh, sorry, RAM chip, It'll boot, but the screen will be blank and nothing will come on. Like you'll have the Wi-Fi light and the power light. However, you won't have anything on the screen. It'll just be black. So by updating the BIOS, I should be able to install more RAM and hopefully give this a bit more power. As you can see, it's just erasing the old blocks, programming it, verifying it and then move on to the next one. Uh, it doesn't take long, it only takes about a minute or two. And once it's done it will automatically shut down. 
We're on to the last one now. And uh, don't be alarmed if your laptop suddenly starts putting out a lot of uh, heat or the fan just starts whirring really loudly. This is normal. It's because of the extra power being used by the bio flash. Uh, now it's completed. It is off. It is restarting. And if I press F2 upon startup now, I've just pressed F2. And as you can see, I have the new version 14CNA0WW. And what you also want to do under configuration, just make sure wireless is enabled because I had a problem before where the Wi Fi did not work. So that's good. I'm just going to turn the sound off because that annoys me. And everything else is good. So you can just exit saving or exit discarding if you haven't done anything. And restarting. New BIOS. And I'll now power it down and install the extra RAM. So in this part of the tutorial now, I will be showing you how to downgrade the BIOS. Um, if something did go wrong, say uh, Wi-Fi is not working and uh, checking it's enabled and BIOS didn't work, um, and there's many other things that can go wrong, but if you have managed to get back into Windows and you wish to uh, downgrade your BIOS back to the original version, you want to navigate to where you installed it, so in my case it was C, Drivers, Win, BIOS, and 14C, and A0WW, which was this new version of the BIOS. Um, you want to find the file that says BIOS.back, and you have dot, uh, dot .wph file. Just take this one and rename it uh, to dot .new or something. Just rename it. You get this, just click yes. Yep. That'll take a second. Now find the dot .back file, which will be BIOS.back. And if you named it something else, put it somewhere. Find it and rename it to BIOS.WPH. Yeah, yeah. And then come down here find WinFlash, just open there so get used to count, it's all good. Now you want to go into advanced settings, like I said before, here we go, and what you want to do is find the option flash only if BIOS is newer than system, untick that. Uh, flash only if BIOS is different, you want to keep that, because you don't want to be overriding your current BIOS with the same BIOS. Everything else is good, so I'm just go here, click OK, and for the backing up of it, we can leave that as normal, whilst I back because our original backup has been renamed, sorry, has been renamed, choose whilst WPH as you've renamed it to this one, uh, yep, first option there. And now we're just going to click Flash BIOS. And remember, my current version is the uh, sorry, the uh, 14 CNA 0 WW version. If I click Flash BIOS, it'll do the same operation as it did before in the uh, previous part of the video. And basically, it'll restart back to the old BIOS. I'm not going to do this; I have no need to. But if you need to know how to do it, this is how you do it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and for more, just message me and subscribe. Thank you.